Parents and students, welcome to Google Classroom. When you open your teacher's class, the first thing you will come to is the stream page. Here's where the teacher can post announcements. You may also see any assignments here. It just depends on the teacher's settings. More importantly though is the classwork page. So let's go to classwork because here's where you'll find all of your assignments. There are two main types of assignments, quizzes and then normal assignments. So let's take a look first at just an assignment. I can click right here on the assignment name to expand it and I can see some basic information such as what the instructions are and any documents that may be attached to it. Let's click view assignment. Here we see some more information. If there were more documents attached, they'd be listed here, such as resources that maybe the student needs to read over. I can add comments between the student and the teacher right here. This is not seen by the rest of the class. And in this case, the teacher gave me an assignment to actually work on. If the teacher had not given me a document, I can always click add or create to create my own right here. So we can do a doc, a slide, which is like a PowerPoint, a sheet which is like an Excel or a spreadsheet and then a drawing. I will click here and work on this document that the teacher gave me. So the teacher gave me this document. I can continue working and typing here and when I'm finished there's no need to hit save. All you do is go back up to the top and click the X to close the tab. Work is automatically saved as long as you are connected to the internet. Once you are finished with the assignment you click turn in. Be sure if you have additional things you need to turn in to click add or create. Also note that if you are on the app on a mobile device, you can take advantage of the device's camera to take a picture of handwritten work. I will go ahead and click turn in, turn in a second time, and then now we see that my assignment is submitted because it now says unsubmit. So let's go back to the classwork page by clicking on the name of the class and classwork. So to close this assignment, I simply click on the name again to collapse it. Notice how it is now grayed out. That is because I have turned it in. This assignment has not been turned in yet. So let's click on sample quiz. Again, this looks very similar. You see something attached and I can click view assignment. So here, what you need to do anytime you have a quiz or it'll say Google Forms attached, in order to complete this, you need to click on this form. So let's take this sample quiz. I will answer any questions. Be sure you answer all of them. If there is a star, it is required. You can see how many points the question is worth if points were assigned, and then I will click submit. And you will get a thank you screen that tells you the response has been submitted. Note that this right here can be customized by the teacher, so it may say something different. This open assignment button will just take me back to the assignment itself. So I'm just going to close it because like I said, it will just bring you back to this screen and this assignment is now submitted. So if I go back to demo class, the name of my course, and then go to classwork, I can see that both assignments are now grayed out and submitted. Once the teacher has given feedback, the student can go back to the assignment and click on view assignment. They can see their grade up here at the top and then any comments that the teacher made or any feedback will be listed over here on the right hand side. If the teacher asks to go back and rework it, the student can then rework the document and resubmit it again if requested by the teacher. Now, a quiz assignment works slightly differently. So if we go to the quiz, you will click on the quiz. We won't need to go to view assignment. We'll click right here on the quiz. And what I want to show you first is this is what it looks like before the teacher completes the feedback process. It says you've already responded and there's nothing you can do. So we will go back and give this and wait until the teacher completes the feedback. Once the teacher notifies the student that he or she has completed grading the quiz, click on the quiz and now we will see a different screen. Notice there's a view score button now. The student can click on this, can see what they got right or wrong, depending on what the teacher sets it as. So they may not want you to see the correct answer, but they may want you to identify what you have incorrect. And then you will be able to see any feedback the teacher gives on each individual problem. 
Plus, I can see that on the first problem, I got zero out of 10 points. And on the second one, I've got 10 out of 10 for a total of 10 out of 20 points on this. So here's how a student can review the feedback on a quiz. I can simply close out of those and go back to my Google Classroom and continue working through other assignments at this point. Finally, students and parents, if you are having any issues or need any assistance, please reach out to your teacher for support.